Hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're listening to this podcast right here, this is episode 53 of the Tap Zone Podcast with your host, me, Amir Max, and that's All Facts, a.k.a. Mr. Versatile, a.k.a. Young Steve A., okay? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my special guest here um, is pretty crazy because after 53 episodes, it took that long to finally get a female rapper on the show Um, because I've had a lot of them hit me up and they didn't get back to me. And uh, mm-hmm, luckily, mm-hmm, she mm-hmm. kept in contact with me. Um, I'm loyal. Yeah, you're loyal. I'm you like get, a golden retriever. You, you got me, and I Oof. appreciate that. All right? and y'all make sure to check out her music. She is on some other shit. Like, I really mess with her vibe. Um, and she's always doing something different with every track. Give it up for Taya Tana. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm happy to have you on. We, we finally made it happen. We've, uh, we've been in the talks about doing this for a bit, and uh-huh. uh, we finally got it rolling. I know, yeah. So how uh, How's everything been with you? Um, everything's good. Um, I definitely feel like the summer was, I, I, I sort of took a little bit of a break from social media, which helped me a lot. I think Mm -hmm. it helped to clear my mind and helped to help to clear my brain. So I feel like the last two months in particular, I've just had this like splurge of creativity and Mm. I've literally just been like writing so many songs uh, making like lots of beats and stuff recording a bunch and um, I'm feeling like more consistent in in making Mm -hmm. music now which is dope compared to how it was over the summer because the summer was a little chaotic for me but yeah yeah but now it's like a lot better and that's, like, that's great to hear. That's yeah. really good to hear. Um, yeah. It's always good to have that mental yeah. clarity and make sure everything is good going on in the brain. I mean, that's that's the most important part we got to take care of. You know, yeah. people always talk about your physical health and then we leave the mental health to the side. Yeah. You know, we just forget about that. Um, mm-hmm. Like, oh, you're sad. Just do this and feel better. It's like, nah, like. Just it, be happy. Just it, stop just, being sad. Yeah, just, <laughs> okay. Yeah, just smile. <laughs> like, nah, it ain't that simple. No. Um, and luckily we're coming into yeah. times where people are more understanding of how serious mental illness is. So. Well, yeah. It's like your brain. <clears throat> like your, your brain is. You know, like people need to start taking more seriously. It's oh, yeah. Your mind mm-hmm. that's like the dictates only dictates your behavior and your your actions. Everything, yeah. every every single thing, you know, yeah. it goes back to the brain. You know, we we still don't understand the brain one hundred percent. That's the most no. complex part of the body, and we're still trying to figure that all out. Which is what makes yeah. mental illness so uh, just a, a big topic, and you yeah. know, a lot of people are looking into it. Um, but it's good though that I feel like people are more open about it now like a lot of people are coming out with like their own personal stories and their own I think that the more vulnerable that people are when they talk about it the more empowered they are Mm. after and the more empowered other people are too because I feel like then there's sort of like um just a level of trust that's built yeah since it's so like everyone is like so judgmental nowadays and it's hard to know like who you can open up to and who to trust Mm. and like who you can feel comfortable talking to about your problems Mm -hmm. but like i feel like the more people we can get talking about it and taking it like in a serious right serious way rather than just like either like bashing it or making fun of people with it i feel like it could really improve society. Yeah. Like exponentially. Definitely. So, yeah. yeah. I agree with you. You know, I think everybody should feel comfortable to tell their story because yeah. you don't under like we don't realize is how other people are going through the same shit. Like in terms yeah. of like you know, whether it's a, a depression or anxiety yeah. or like mania. Like uh, people are yeah. we're all going through certain things and I saw Yeah, I, I, everyone. Yeah. I think it's important to talk about it, and especially with social media, which oh, is why get, Oh yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy you mentioned <laughs> how like you like took a break. I Oh I, best like literally the best best thing I ever could have done was was getting off of social media like Mm -hmm. I like just didn't and I've been more active like the last week I would say um but it's because I'm ready now you know I'm ready Ready to to actually start start over start fresh and like I kind of stopped caring too about what people think about me yeah so, like, <laughs> like i just got to a point where it's just it's just so draining like why am i putting so much energy into what other people think about me when at the end of the day like i came into this world alone mm-hmm. i'm gonna die alone that sounds mad depressing <laughs> like, i mean i, I mean but, like it's true you i know, know what, what you, I, mean? I know what you're trying to say i mean it's All not you really got de- yourself yeah. yeah it's not depressing it's just kind of like, just real you know yeah. what i mean it's just real shit you just said right there <laughs> um would yeah. you be using social media 
if you weren't an artist <laughs> would you like would you like be as active on it as you were if you weren't trying to promote your music no yeah same I wouldn't have anything <laughs> the only reason why I, like no like I actually the only reason why I have Instagram is just because I like I want to share music my music there. and yeah. post my music and everything mm-hmm. and also like networking is a big thing too gotta network yeah but I, I hate doing it over social media because that's yeah. what everyone does and it just feels so superficial and like the thing that annoys me the most too is when i get people who just like send me links and they're like go like this mm, no yeah. i'm not gonna just go like it yeah. i'm not gonna yeah. just go like <laughs> like that's super disrespectful mm-hmm. because like i'm a human like i'm not like a robot like yeah. talk, to, talk to me and like if if anything as much as I don't like texting already, at least, you know, let's send an audio message and, like, get to know each other. Mm-hmm. And, like, I want to know why you make music, you know, because I make music for lots of reasons, yeah. not just because I'm good trying at it, cool. trying to be yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> the other thing, too, is just, like, I feel like like everyone just wants to be a rapper now. Like, mm-hmm. rap- And they think it's easy, which it's is not. not. It's not easy no. to be a rapper. Yeah. I- I've been doing this since I was 11. Mm-hmm. I've literally been making rap music since I was 11, and, like, I got bullied for it. Like, it was very challenging for me, but, mm-hmm. like, I did it because it was my passion, and now people respect me more for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. especially that, that younger phase when you start rapping, especially, like, in the high school days, people will make fun of you, but yeah. when you stick with it, and people see that it's not a phase, like you're actually about it. Yeah. And they, they give you the respect because they're like, okay, this is really who you are. Yeah. And you're all the way with it and you're not afraid to express yourself. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And like, I just feel like if you're a rapper and you truly are a rapper <clears throat> coming up now, like you need to know what rap really is. Like you need to know your history. And I mean, I'm still learning, you mm-hmm. know, I don't. I don't know Tupac's life story. I don't know Biggie's yeah. life story. Yeah. You know, like I grew up in a different. I'm more with like Eminem and and like mm-hmm. Jay Z, J Cole. That's more like my era that I'm growing up or have grown up with. For sure, but yeah. like just understanding what rap actually is is super important if you truly are serious about wanting to be in hip hop. Oh yeah, it's it's rhythm and poetry. Yeah, literally, mm-hmm. it's like that's the flow, the cadence. <laughs> it's, it's like. Um, not about just like flexing and like yo look at my bitches look no, at my, yeah, yeah. my diamonds my mm-hmm. money like th- there's so oh like mm, no, no, I so guess. many things uh, like I wish I could change it right now in the snap of a finger but like mm-hmm. and I think I think honestly like lyrical hip hop will come back though so you know I'm looking forward to that no and definitely definitely I, I, I think lyrical point. rap is always there you just gotta look for it you gotta um, like right yeah. yeah cause the mainstream right. songs aren't gonna be yeah that uh, and nowadays you know a lot of these mainstream songs that we see they're not even like like they're hip hop but it's like the melodic rap or it's like is this even hip hop like like, mm-hmm. like like it sounds more like an R&B song or a pop song yeah so it's the lines are getting really blurred in terms of what is like a rap song nowadays <clears throat> you know so yeah no you're right <laughs> yeah. especially because I think like and I love Post Malone but I think he just he just won best like rap album or something I yeah. forgot what it was exactly it was but like it's favorite like, rap album at the AMAs yeah what mm-hmm. bruh I never heard him spit in before I've never I love heard, his I, voice yeah. but like literally mm-hmm, this he's is- never I've never heard him rap. Yeah I, I, look I've mentioned this multiple times on this podcast so the fact you mentioned it before I did Hey, but the thing with Post Malone, I love Post Malone. Like, like I, you know, he's one of my big inspirations with the sound I'm on. Uh-huh. But he is not a, like a rapper. Like, no. Um, we we need a new like like guys like him and what Tyler Creator did with Igor. We need a new like genre. Like, yeah. Like there, there's just hip hop rap on like all these platforms when there should be like alternative rap or like like just call it. We need we That's need kind, a, yeah. yeah we need to find a different name for it because. Like yeah. I understand the beats he has, and like there's like there's something about him that is hip hop, yeah. but it's not like it's not like uh, like YB and Corday. Like that dude's a rapper. Like there's mm. no questions yeah. about that. That yeah. album was rap. Uh, He's a cool kid. Yeah, and I, I love YB and Corday. Yeah, I, I, um, I've been preaching about him since the beginning. I started this thing. <laughs> you know, it was, it was him, JID, yeah. and Black. Those were, like three right. artists. I'm like, yo. Listen yeah. to these guys Listen more. To, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I, I, you know, I definitely make sure to to pay attention to those guys. Um, who are some of your inspirations in terms of like uh, who you take notes from? Um, at least, well, at least newer artists. Yeah. Oh, new artists. Yeah, because I know you had mentioned uh, Eminem. I know you mentioned Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. I would say, I mean, uh, Eminem was my first real inspiration. Yeah. Um, at least with rapping mm-hmm. and sort of my my delivery. Right now, I would say, um, 
<laughs> yeah, I think about it. Yeah, yeah no, it's just, <laughs> it, yeah, I think because. I mean, the I've thing is, it's always a, like it's not ever bad to always have like one artist that just truly drives everything you do. Because no, no, Eminem's that, not a bad choice at all for that. It's just like <laughs> so many. I, I'm more. I feel like I consider myself like a student of the game because I prefer to listen to like older stuff. Got you. Got you. Because, yeah. I mean, like there are some. What are you doing? <laughs> See, this is why I said, "Yo, go sit <laughs> out there," because you're a distraction. I can't focus. <laughs> It was a good plan. Oh my god! Oh yeah, yeah. Jonah Lucas. Sorry, yeah, definitely yeah. Jonah Lucas. No, yeah, I yeah. just, I'm just like That's thinking. I there's so many artists. The thing I was gonna say was like, I've been so focused on finding my own voice. Yeah. Recently, so you don't really like try to like <clears throat> take two notes from too many people. Yeah. Like, and I know I like I do. Like, mm -hmm. it's just it's very fifty fifty with me. Like, I recently have just been like I said, really like in a self improvement mode, and I kind of like. I was explaining to like Max earlier. I feel mm -hmm. like I've I've been on autopilot. I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I really like I I had a very 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 challenging month in from like September to like all of October. It was yeah. extremely challenging. Like my mm -hmm. dog died and I was just yeah. I felt like so so low, but yeah. then something just happened. Like one day I woke up and like I just decided to be happy mm -hmm. and I just decided to really fully like start taking this seriously, finding me, mm -hmm. taking a break from social media, like um, not paying attention to what other people are doing because I'm living my life. Mm. I'm important. Mm -hmm. and everyone's important. Facts. Literally. Like, mm -hmm. so, but no. to, I mean, to answer your question though, yeah. I would definitely say like Joyner is a big um, inspiration for me. He is killing it right now. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, and he's a really kind. He's a very kind-hearted person. You met him um, before? Yeah, I, I, um, I actually have um, assisted with Project Two Studios, okay. the videography company that films his music videos. Okay, yeah. And we've had interactions, and actually, like we. We just had an interaction um, a couple weeks ago. That's dope. I, hey, hey, hey. I was <laughs> getting out there. Yeah. It's it's interesting because I actually I bought a plane ticket to Miami, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was really excited about going down there. And long story short, I missed my flight. Oh no! And, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and um, I was my flight was on November 11th, which is 11/11, 11, 11, mm -hmm. and I was gonna land in Miami at 11:11 11, 11 p.m. Oh wow! And, I, <laughs> and coincidence, <laughs> I, I know, right? And I'm really like into numerology too. Yeah, no, definitely. Signs yeah. like that. But what ended up happening was just because I missed my flight, I was like, man, like this can't get worse. Like just with everything I was already going through, and th this is like three weeks ago, so like a lot has improved since then. Like I feel really happy actually, and That's good. um, yeah. And I ended up um, going to one of his video shoots um, for his new single ADHD. That's a banger. It's a r I really like that song a lot. That's a dope. No, and, I like that one. It's um, it's definitely a different vibe from what Jordan usually it does. Is, yeah. But I, I like it, and I, th I think it, it right. fits for the the sound that he's trying to go for. At least with on that song, and I I'm waiting on that project to drop because he's. <laughs> I'm really pumped. I feel like yeah. there's gonna be a lot of tracks on it because he's already dropped like five, six tracks off of that project. Yeah. So uh, he's probably gonna drop like twenty two songs on us you know I, I, I could definitely see him yeah, doing that yeah I'm really excited but yeah I don't know like I just I was at his video shoot and I normally like when I go to video shoots I try mm -hmm. to not really interact with him just cause like I wanna help with like the actual like production of yeah. the video as much as I can like sometimes I go on runs for people like I'll go to the store and like I get like cereal or like muffins or I get like water bottles mm -hmm. for people and like, try to help out with the the creation of everything. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. and like I dope. and I like doing it too, just because like I like to help people in general. So like mm -hmm. I just try, and I like learning about videography too, because like that's not, important. And oh, that, yeah. <laughs> like like not only am I a music artist, but like I'm also a visual artist too. Like I've been mm -hmm. I've been drawing since I was a kid, and like I've just always been interested in like what goes into making things. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, definitely, um, definitely. But when I was, like, leaving the video shoot, because, like I said, like, I normally don't interact with him at shoots just because, like, everyone is, like, in work mode, and I don't really want to, like... Yeah, you don't want to be that person, just fans are like, join it, join it. Yeah, it's not, it's, not it's not professional, and that's... I'm really glad <laughs> that... That too, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, 
I'm glad that like I got a um like a job at like Cyber Sound Recording Studios because they taught me like about like etiquette mm. when like when we have like a celebrity come in. Yeah, you gotta have etiquette. Yeah, you don't want to be like just fan out over them and look at them like oh my god it's that person yeah. and take pictures of them yeah, like, blatantly like, like that's just yeah, it's, come on. It's true. Like you shouldn't be treating them like animals in a cage. Like mm-hmm. they're they're a human being and they're just they got successful doing what they love. Exactly. So yeah. like that's just kind of like how you have to look at it yeah you know what i mean but Mm -hmm. but anyway like when i was like when i was leaving the video shoot like something crazy happened yeah well at least for me personally like i was walking out of the door and i saw um ben the director and he was like with joiner outside and Mm -hmm. and i gave ben a hug and i was like i'm gonna peace out i'm just gonna head out now and like i was just gonna like walk away and just wave bye to joiner just because like you know, like I said, like I didn't want to like bother them or anything. Mm-hmm. But then he like he was like, "Hey yo," and I was, <laughs> and I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> and he's like, "I've been seeing your stuff online. Like you're doing a really good job." And in my mind, I was like, "What?" <laughs> I, I had no idea that he was like listening to my music. Yeah, cause, that's that's awesome. <laughs> cause, yeah, because like I never even like send him stuff anyway. I like. So the fact he even just found it is pretty crazy. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because like I like have worked before with Project Two and he's just like heard of my name, but I like had no idea that like my current favorite rapper is listening to. Yeah, my he's music. that's dope, and I feel like yeah. that type of reassurance right there. And that's the eleven eleven thing that yeah. I was bringing oh, up before. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like cr- I was supposed to miss my flight. Mm-hmm. I was one hundred percent supposed to miss my flight because, Damn. like. If I didn't have that reassurance at that time from what I was experiencing, just with like my dog passing away, because yeah. she was extremely important. Like she was a really big part of my life, and I mm-hmm. like fell into a depression because of how much I missed her. That sucks. Yeah, that's terrible. That's but terrible. It, it really like picked me up, and like it really like it just put things into perspective. Like wow, people are watching me, and people are listening to me, and and like. I love music and I'm passionate about it for a reason. Yeah. And, and I think if you're an artist, you know, like if if you're going through like a drought right now and, and if you're going through whatever it is, like family things or you're just feel, not really feeling confident mm-hmm. in yourself, you really just have to remember like why are you doing this? You know what yeah. I mean? Remember like the reason and remember the purpose at the end of the day mm-hmm. because that's what's going to that's what's gonna push you over yeah yeah definitely definitely and like you can't you can't rely on like fame to bring you happiness because there's lots of famous people (laughs) who hate being famous Mm -hmm. because you're giving up your privacy you're giving up everything oh yeah literally it's gonna be all out there i mean everything is out there Mm -hmm. you can you can just like have the hiccups one day and then people are gonna just talk about that for like a year oh remember that time that blah blah blah, blah had the hiccups on yeah, stage, stage and then yeah. ruined their career yeah, like it's like no. that ruins that someone's career it's like get out of here with that and and, and if yeah. you're if you're in this for the fame like you're in this for the wrong reason like, yeah like i feel like as as artists like you should just be out here to to really try to make the best music possible like yeah. point blank period like actually make an impact on someone's life with the songs that you're making and like make a difference out here um mm-hmm. and it's it's okay to make the party shit it's okay to do all that stuff but i yeah. really feel at the end of the day the artists that stick around are the ones that got more to say than just we party we right. smoke and we drink and like look how much fun we have because life yeah. is not always fun no like, it's not and, yeah. and people want to make it seem like we're having fun all the time it's like yo sometimes we're, yeah. we just want to kick it back and do nothing like make a song about that uh sometimes we feel sad make a song about that That's, yeah so i think that just goes such a long way and i think more artists need to uh, embody everything that makes someone human, reg- mm. and and don't be afraid of it. Just make the song, just right. put it out there. Just, right, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah, I think I just think that's really important. But that's that's a crazy story about you and Jordan, though. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That I'm I'll, very yeah, grateful. You, yeah, yeah, that really, yeah, you really should be. And I think yeah. um, that's I think that's the sign for you to just keep pushing. Like I think everybody that's has. How I took it. Yeah, yeah I think everybody yeah. has certain moments in their life. You know, they feel like ah, I don't know if this is gonna work out for me. And that's and then normal. That, yeah. 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 And that's normal. Like, you know, yeah. it's hard to keep yourself at 100 and fully confident all the time. Um, I Yeah. No, you're like, you're so right. I think, like, for me, though, um, I've been learning a lot about energy. Mm, um, yeah. And, like, you know, a lot of people can kind of look at this as sort of like, you know, taboo or cliche, whatever. 
but when she started to understand like there's a science behind it and, mm. and there's a language behind it that can help you comprehend how to utilize the energy around you and within yourself to mm-hmm. achieve things and, and, and draw things into your life. Yeah. Like everything changes, dude. Your thoughts Every- become things. Like, like <laughs> you got to think, got to think on top all the time. Because if you're always thinking down and thinking about the worst shit, it's, you're just going to You're going to get up, more and more it's, bad it's things. Keep attracting that yes, to you. Yeah. I know. And, and it's just like crazy. Like the past week in particular, like I've been just doing things differently. Because mm-hmm. if you want to change your life, that means you actually have to do things differently. You, yeah, you got to switch like, something up. Yeah. You got like, something has to be done differently. Like, like you actually have to like tweak things and, mm-hmm. and and it doesn't have to be a big tweak like little yeah, things just a little little thing. things to start like mm-hmm. make your bed when you wake up in the morning so, yeah, literally just that yeah. like mm-hmm. um and like that's kind of like what i i started doing like i just started doing things differently like little things that make me feel good mm-hmm. you know um and i've just noticed that like really good things started to happen yeah like, definitely definitely like like exercise yeah. Exercise. Oh, I love working out yeah. too. I love boxing. Ooh, I'm yeah, a boxer. Box, no. That's a great stress mm-hmm. reliever. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Because it doesn't even yep. like like there's just something about it. it. Doesn't even really feel like you're working out. You know what I mean? Like, um, like I feel like when I yeah. lift weights or like especially when I do cardio, I feel like that that, that definitely feels like a you workout. Feel like, yeah. Yeah. Start but, sweating. Yeah, but like, there's something about the boxing. Melting. Yeah. <laughs> something about that is dope, and I, that that's such a critical part in terms of just helping out that mental yeah. state, like just getting out that stress. From yeah. wherever, like, like it just it's 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 really important. I think more people definitely need to look at that. That's that's just a, not one step. I mean, I think another thing too is like, you know, people love going out um, more so than trying to make money. So like, I know. when it comes to like, you know, people that go out on like Thursday and Friday and Saturday, how about you just go out on Saturday? And I guarantee you, you go, you could see a change that can make in your, just everything. Like, yeah, that's just that's just another thing I'd mention because like personally, like you know, I, I used to like want to go out all the time. Yeah, and now I just try to take it a little bit more easy. Take uh, it easy. Yeah, you yeah. know, and not drink too much and stuff. Like, yeah, wake up I, all hungover and can't do shit the next day. Like, <laughs> I actually like don't really drink at all. That's I, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like I barely do like any drugs. Like I I don't drink like at all. Like I I remember I did drink. Um, like two weeks ago just mm. because I'm not gonna lie like I kind of like caved into peer pressure at my friends I went to UNH and I visited I'm her the best of us. and like I um I don't know like someone like offered to buy me a drink and they're like oh just like have a sip yeah and like because I already don't drink anyway, I figure like it'll be okay if yeah, I have good. Yeah, one no, Corona. <laughs> and then I had that one Corona, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm a mad lightweight." <laughs> I was <laughs> one Corona. Wow. I know it's kind of crazy, yeah, but that's that crazy. I, that's one of the reasons why I don't drink no, is because I, I'm such a lightweight, and mm-hmm. like you know, like I, I'm 21, I can if I want to, but I just don't even want to. So no, I got you. Yeah. And like, and and I feel like. Especially like you being like in the hip hop world, I think yeah. a lot of people expect you to be the party, a partier. You know what I'm saying? I, and I am a partier, but I'm always sober. Yeah. I don't need I don't need anything. Like I, people like always. That's like my thing. Like I feel like I have a reputation for always being the person that literally goes all out and parties the most. Yeah. But like but just, I don't I don't need anything. That's to usually do, how it goes. Have fun. Though. Yeah. Because yeah. usually the people that need to have fun and have to drink a lot, they're usually the ones that have a lot of shit going on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like, yeah. I'll be real yeah. with you And that's why like The ones yep. who party sober Or like they only have Like two drinks And still have a good time Like usually the little ones That are very yeah. comfortable In themselves Cause there's a reason Why they yeah, call I alcohol so. Liquid courage Like Liquid courage <laughs> Liquid courage Oh I've never heard of that yeah, Before liquid, liquid courage, courage. <laughs> Yeah yeah Cause you drink Drink and that's why Motherfuckers start it's fighting funny. Like you know Like people <laughs> just feel Confident about themselves When, when they drink So I feel like That's that, funny That's yeah That's good that you don't Have to um You don't have to yeah. Drink a lot like that So and it's better for your health too so <laughs> yeah there's I a lot of positives with that so. it's, and it's like kind of funny too because like every time i go out you know like i obviously get carded and everyone's like this id's gotta be fake mm-hmm. there's no way she's 21 because everyone always thinks i'm like 16 or 17 and i think it's because i don't drink alcohol and yeah. like i eat really really healthy too like i i Every day, like, I make sure to at least have, like, some type of greens or something yeah, or, like, no, a definitely. smoothie. And, like, I also kind of, like, have been slowly cutting out meat, too, as well. Okay, and yeah. I don't think if you're, if you're, uh, if you eat meat, like, I don't 
think that that's bad. I don't think it's bad to eat meat at all, actually. I think that meat can, you know, is healthy for some people. But for me personally, like the way that my body processes it. Yeah, yeah, just because I have like a pretty sensitive body. I kind of have like a sensitive immune system. So Mm -hmm. like I I noticed that um, when I stopped eating meat, like just fall a little bit kind better. of yeah. yeah i feel like more i feel more light yeah, yeah that's why I, I hear feel, a lot of people say yeah, yeah i feel definitely, like definitely. i feel like also my skin has cleared up a lot too which my skin was kind of like a problem um like the last few years and like it didn't really look the way i want it was kind of like just not healthy yeah no i got you but, yeah but then like i cut out a lot of like processed food and like i replaced it with with like different things that taste good like honey for example honey mm, over sugar like yeah. whatever something a little bit more natural yeah, yeah natural I got you. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah it's yeah, very yeah. important to eat right you know because yeah. that all goes back to just thinking better feeling better yeah you exactly. know looking better it all it yeah really every, all, it, yeah it all adds up you know eventually at the end of the day and um yeah you need to eat for energy yeah. too not just because like it tastes good mm-hmm. yeah, yeah no no definitely not i mean most yeah. things that taste good usually are bad, <laughs> so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's usually how it goes but yeah. um i want to uh get back to just uh talking about this music with you um right did you what, what was the first song that you put out when, what, what, what was the first release that you had under Tayatana? Oh, under Tayatana? Yeah. Cause um, you, I mean, you said you've been making music since you were 11. Uh-huh. Right? Well, yeah. When was, when was the first, the first introduction as Tayatana to, to the world? The first song I put out as Tayatana was a song called Photograph. Okay. okay. And I just recently started putting music up on SoundCloud, or not SoundCloud, on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And like, because I got the distribution stuff down finally. I, I don't know why I didn't do it longer ago. There's um, still artists that don't look into that, which I don't I, I know, <laughs> yeah. But but at the, at the time, I just knew how to do like YouTube and SoundCloud when yeah. I first released it. So Photograph, that was the first song I released under Tayatana. Mm-hmm. And um, that song is kind of just about like growing up and like reminiscing. And um, I got the idea when I, um, I was home last year one day and I so I've only been uh, I'm currently living at my dad's actually okay um and I've only been living there for about like a year yeah and I never spend any time there either like I kind of commute and like I'm I'm always like all over the place Mm -hmm. um especially because of like school too like coming to Boston just like driving all over so one day I was home and it was snowing actually and I just kind of like, I was like, ooh, like I'm going to explore <laughs> around the house. And mm-hmm. uh, I went into the basement and I found all of these old pictures that I've never seen. Oh, shit. Yeah. All of these <laughs> old like photo, um, throwbacks. <laughs> photo books, like pictures I just never have seen before that I wow. like can't even remember <laughs> being taken. And, um, and I started to get in my feelings a little bit because mm-hmm. I was like, wow, like, you know, being five years old and like, I was like this one picture I was with like my boyfriend when I was like five years old and like <laughs> we were like sharing an ice cream cone yeah. at, at like um like a farm or whatever. And I was like, oh man, like why can't relationships be like yeah, that now? Yeah, right? For real, for real. <laughs> and, um, and so, yeah, I just started to like reminisce a bit and then... I I wrote it and it was just yeah like it's just supposed to kind of like um help people you know go back mm-hmm. and and appreciate time and appreciate growing up definitely, definitely. um and look the hook actually is like I don't want to grow up I just want to slow down but I've gotten older and know now that I can't stay young forever but I can go back in a photograph so mm-hmm. it's just kind of like yeah that's dope that's dope so yeah <laughs> so it's just kind of like about to like slowing down yeah. rather than like feeling the need to like have to just like and look how look at grow the, up yeah. and be an adult and like no like we're all kids like you, at the end of the day we all still have that all, kid in us yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah we all still got that kid in us yeah. that's for sure um mm-hmm. i gotta ask you this question tay mm-hmm. um you being a female white rapper yeah do you ever feel that people look at you and not take you seriously just off the bat like that i have had experiences where um so, okay so I feel like, um, for me, at least yeah. in my mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the way that I perceive it, yeah. um, I like to exert a lot of positive energy. For sure, yeah. And I yeah. feel like people who are empathetic or just whatever, 
they feel that energy. Yeah. So I've never had any like negative, like I've never really Good. had any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I understand, like, you know, I understand with the experiences that I have had where people don't take me seriously. I get it. Yeah. I'm not offended. I don't take it personally because I, the only way that I can really explain myself or, or, or prove that I'm serious about what I do is ask them to stay mm -hmm. and watch me perform. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and it's funny because a lot of the people who, like, you know, not that they've come up to me and said to me, like, you're not a rapper. You're you like whatever. You're yeah, a yeah. white girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, you know, no one does that. Good, to not. Me. And, that, and that's what but, I ask because I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Like we're we're about to step no. into 2020, and I just really hope people still don't think like that. Like, yeah, I've <laughs> never I've never personally had that happen, but I've I've like I felt it. Before. Yeah, you can see when someone's can, giving you a certain look. Yeah, like, like I know I've gotten think, yeah. like weird looks before from people. But what's interesting to me in, mm -hmm. is that every time that I perform. I'll like, you know, go do my thing. And I love it. I love performing. Perform a lot so of shit. Yeah, that's, I the, that's love, my favorite part about this mm, music stuff. Like, it's yeah. just such, like, uh, You just get like, it out there, you Yeah, know? like, it's just, I feel like a savage. Like, mm -hmm. the second I get the mic in my hand, I'm just like, you you're know. You're the shit. Go. You're the one up there. And, you're, you're the star, you And know? then, yeah, and then when I'm done, though, it's like the same people who are giving me, like, kind of like a weird look before. They end up coming up to me after and being like, yo, let's collab. Mm -hmm. Or like, Pay the respect. like yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, and, and like, and like I said, you know, like I, I really, like, I understand. I, I don't really care. Like I, I have had people like, um, come up to me and be like, yo, I was expecting, like, some Taylor Swift shit. And then, oh. like, you start going over here, like... <laughs> yeah, and he's, like, spitting some bars. Like, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <T> swizzle <laughs> Yeah, no, but, like... um, And then, yeah, it's just cool. Like, I, I have a very positive outlook on it. And That's for, good, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, like, I'm hoping that, like, the more popular I get and the bigger I get, I can kind of help encourage people to get get out of that mindset and mm -hmm. focus more on the energy the, and the content and the content <laughs> what, if, your, and, if your music's good but yeah, and, you know and, a, and another thing too is like i really want to make music music again more than rather than just like a product got you yeah you know what i mean and and i had a i had a great professor so i'm not I'm currently taking time off from school, okay. like I said, to like network and just work in general and approach my career in a different way. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go all in with the music thing. Like yeah. you just gotta put everything else to the side, and when when that's your main focus, yeah, you'll see things will just pop up for you. Right, yeah. but at Berkeley though, I had one of the greatest professors, and he gave me like a really great piece of advice, and mm -hmm. um, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Now, but it was some good advice. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and like, like it was something. It basically was along the lines of have, like, let the music sort of like speak for itself, and, yes. don't, and don't treat it like a brand. Like, yes. don't constantly keep. I mean, treat. I treat myself like a brand, you just got it, yeah. for, from a business perspective. But mm -hmm. I like, I um like don't treat your music and don't treat each song just like a product. You know what I yeah. mean? Like. Like have fun with it, you know. Not definitely, like, yeah. And even if it's a sad song, still just like don't just treat it like, like, let's do this one and then boom, that's out, and then this one and boom, 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 like everything, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Especially as so. artists on the come up, like we gotta make yeah. sure like every song gets the attention it needs. Cause I mean, it's you can't just base all the stuff you do off the big names, cause the big names can get away with dropping a twenty-two album project, like yeah, like twenty-two song project, like. We can't do that. <laughs> like, I, yeah, like as I much know. as we probably could are able to do that, like we we like, gotta take things a little slowly. If you, you know? yeah, like if honestly, like if you want to grow right now in popularity, and you want to, you know, like I said, because social media it does play a role, obviously, in in your career if you're an artist, and if you want to get more popular and you do want to get your views up and your streams and your numbers up, don't focus on releasing an album and don't focus on releasing a lot of songs all at the same time. You should be focusing on releasing one song, promoting that properly for a while, mm -hmm. marketing it, and then letting you know letting people listen to it, mm -hmm. whatever, and then just let that get some attention and then you move on to the next song like definitely, releasing definitely. singles rather than albums if you don't have a big enough fan base yet 
mm-hmm. is not very it's not really like a, a great idea yeah because a lot of those songs yeah yeah because like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of those songs yeah. on the album might go under the radar yeah like if you drop like a 10 you know 10 song album like yeah you know if, you, if your fan base isn't that big like you know they might only really pay attention to three of them yeah so, but if you're gonna do that like you gotta make sure you find a way that every song gets attention like, right find a way yeah. and that might cost some money you might yeah. have to do a music video for each one or but you gotta find a way to make sure all these songs get highlighted you can't have nothing go yeah. under the radar or if you do release an album at least another good thing this is why sometimes though it is good to release an album if you at least like highlight you know some of the songs on there Mm -hmm. market them correctly and then come up with visuals for it too Mm. like making making a music video if you make a music video and you have an album um Mm -hmm. that can bring attention to the entire album with like because you never know what could happen like anything literally like overnight you know you could wake up and be like oh shit i have like ten thousand views on this video just because it's good because it's good because people like it you Mm -hmm. know you know so yeah no it goes a long way for sure um let's talk about your newest song uh light me up uh, (laughs) i saw you uh i saw you uh perform that at uh at one of the basement shows um i forget where it was exactly boston university yeah, yeah. yeah 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 it was at bu and um i was like wow I mean, you, you, you ended it with that song. Uh, what, what made you yeah. want to write that one other than trying to have a, a weed smoking record? Because <laughs> that, that's, that's a song you smoke weed to, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely. And it's funny, too. Oh, my God, the funniest thing. I didn't even do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, it just happened. The song, yeah. No, the song is four minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, okay. So, so like, I, I literally can. made a song about, like, the whole concept, like, the way that I had it in my head, like, the fan base I'm trying to reach is, like, mm-hmm just kind of like kids and teenagers and like young adults who are just going to the beach and smoking weed and just Mm. talking about life um Mm -hmm. and um but um wait so what was i gonna say basically like the idea like the reason why i wrote the song actually was because um a lot of people tell me that like they like when I rap. A lot of people like it more when I rap, but a lot of people like it more when I sing. Yeah. And I just kind of, like I said like earlier, I'm kind of trying to find my own voice right now gotcha. and see yeah. like, and just like see experiment and like see what works. Exactly. So, um, light me up. Like I just, I can't, I, you know, everything just kind of, it's already there. Yeah, I don't really know already, where, I don't mm-hmm. know where it comes from exactly. Cause I, I love writing, and it's just very second nature to me. Yeah, it just, you know, boop, just pops up y- out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's like I almost feel like like Cupid has like a cousin who's like a lyric angel and mm-hmm. just shooting like, I ideas. Yeah, <laughs> I got you, Tay. Yeah, that's dope. Um, that's dope. Yeah, but yeah, no. Do you ever, I, do you ever get writer's block? Um, when was the last time you had writer's block? Cause that's a surprise. A common thing I hear many artists complain about. Um. um I don't really know. Cause that's like, good. <laughs> that's good if you ain't getting get writer's block like that. <laughs> I don't really, like, I I don't think I get writer's block. I think that's good. I get yeah. more beat making block. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I'm always, I'm always writing. Like, every day I pretty much, like, write at least an entire song or half a song just because I like I love it so so much Mm -hmm. I have some songs that I write and I'm like I'm gonna give this to One Direction when they get back together (laughs) fingers crossed yeah I know we'll see if they get back together probably not (laughs) honestly they're probably not gonna get back together egos (laughs) I know right but um (laughs) sometimes yeah sometimes I do experience like blocks with making beats though Mm -hmm. like I can't find the right hi-hat and like and also I feel like recently with making beats i've been a little bit stunted too gotcha because um my my midi controller broke (laughs) oh no (laughs) (laughs) so like i've been making beats on like my laptop and it's really hard because it's just like staring at a screen yeah and my eyes get tired (laughs) and then like i try to force myself to cry because (laughs) it's like i'm already like really sad yeah yeah. (laughs) what uh what what do you use to make your beats on uh, I use a uh, reason. Okay. Um, sometimes I use Pro Tools if I'm like recording my voice. Gotcha. Um, 
I started making beats when I was 11, though, on GarageBand. Oh, on yeah. My Good old GarageBand. That's where I got like, started on, too. My, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah GarageBand, that's like usually like where people usually start off, and then they got to you know, step up to a, a more serious daughter. Yeah. Use, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Right now, I'm on, I've am on. i been using Logic Pro for like Logic the Logic Pro is time. good, too. Yeah. But I, I want to I start using either like Reason or Ableton. I mean, I hear great things about all those, but then like it's always so reassuring yeah. when like you see one of your favorite producers use the same doll you use. Yeah. You're like, Oh, okay. If he, he okay, he can do all that on that. Then I think I'm all good. So that's why I just I stuck with what I, I got. So. Yeah, I heard <laughs> I heard that Dr. Dre used Reason and I use Reason somewhere. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we good. We are gonna stick with that. Yeah, my, my reassurance okay. was I saw Travis Scott use. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Uh, oh, is Travis Logic. Scott your favorite? Travis Scott is one of my favorites. One of your I wouldn't favorites? say he's not my like my, my my personal favorite, but like I yeah. just think when it comes to the whole like auto tune rap, I just think like I feel like there's no one doing it like him. Like he's yeah. He, no, he's, you're right. He's just so, just like he has that energy. It's it's just different. It's just I so love his ad libs. Yeah. I mean, his <laughs> ad lib like, game is on point. You know, like yeah, like he's he's killing it with yeah. that. I know a lot of people might say like Young Thug, but I truly think Travis Scott is like that's that's the dude like doing yeah. that auto tune rap on some other shit. Like he, he had just, the number one album last year, right? Was uh, it? it was yeah. It did go number one. Astro World did go number one. No, yeah, I think that mm-hmm. Travis Scott had the number one album, and then I think Nicki Minaj had. I just remember something Nicki happening. Nicki Minaj was number two, number and then two. she complained about it. She complained it. because, oh, because he, he was... The, um, the bundles. The, the bundle, merchandise yeah. thing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. And she that, had like, the Queen album. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that like went back to sales and stuff. So, right. Like, yeah. Um, but oh, You don't want to mess with Nicki. Uh-oh. <laughs> she's wild. She's wild. I mean, she's <laughs> great, great rapper and all that stuff, but she's sometimes just like, all right, like, <laughs> yeah. like chill just a little bit, you know? <laughs> like, you're Nicki Minaj. You're a legend. Like, people respect you. Like, you don't got to do all that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, um Speaking of Nicki Minaj, though, um, in terms of just like female rappers in the game, uh, yeah. have you felt that there has just been this explosion of female rappers finally getting like a lot of like attention? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. I I, mean, I, I think it's great. I mean, of there's, there's so many like female artists that yeah. are just killing it right now in the rap game. I like, I mean, personally for me, um, and a lot of people, she's kind of like controversial because I think she falls between the fine line of, of like rapper and more like pop rap. Mm, yeah. Um, Lizzo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because yeah she makes me feel really yeah. good <laughs> when I listen to her. Mm-hmm. Like she's dope. She's awesome. I'm always right like mm, checking my nails when I'm driving. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> blasting her. Like why am I in something? What? Are, why? What are lyrics again? <laughs> Uh, why are men why are men great till they gotta be great? Yeah, that's it. Don't yeah, yeah. text me telling straight to my face. Mm, yeah, she's I like yeah. her a lot. She just exudes confidence, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I I really like that and, about her, yeah. And I love the post she posted something, um, like a, a week ago, I think, about um like how she didn't give up and how she's like really glad that she didn't give up. Mm-hmm. And I saw it like five times in one day. Yeah. And and um she said that she like she only had thirty dollars in her bank account. Oh yeah, and, I saw that. Yeah, and that she was like living, living in her car and doing shows for food. And I was like, "That's crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy." And like, yeah. there's so many people who like complain about like literal bullshit, and mm-hmm. it's like this girl. Like she was struggling, super, struggling. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that's at, like dangerously struggling. Like yeah. living in your car, like. You know, no one should be living in the Nobody car. should yeah. be living in their car. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, like that's not safe. $30 in the bank account. Ooh, God damn. That is, yeah. She. I mean, I saw that post and it's yeah. just like... You know, Mind-blowing. Yeah, and, and, and people, you know, okay, you know, barring industry plant, barring all like these little things, at the end of the day, like she still had to work her way up somehow. Right, yeah. She did something right. Like she did something right. And I know yeah. luck comes into play with certain things. It does. But sometimes. at the end of the day, she played her cards right. She did. Period. Like she, she and, did. And I Ace did, space. Yeah, and because people like complaining about Lizzie, right. you know, they use the industry plant thing and they say this and that. It's like, yo, like she <laughs> like, still made it. Like she like, still made a name for herself. People like, people who aren't where they wanna be are gonna take down people who are where they wanna be. Exactly. Like all yeah. the time. And um I have a lot of respect for her. Yeah. And I definitely. wish I wish 
her nothing but you know a successful career and mm-hmm. and, and she got a ton of no- gra- Grammy nominations I know <laughs> God and, and good for her because yeah. I think she deserves it oh and, yeah every time every time uh, her song plays in the club like everybody goes crazy especially the ladies like everybody yeah. goes so crazy yeah you know that's how you know that shit's hitting like, right it's exactly yeah. yeah but I mean and I, I I like Nicki Minaj too like I I would say she's the number one female rapper that I grew up with because yeah, I mean her numbers like, don't lie <laughs> no not at all yeah. um mm-hmm. I think that um I mean in terms of other female I, rappers for me Rhapsody Rhapsody. Rhapsody Rhapsody is unreal. I gotta start listening yeah, to Rhapsody check out Rhapsody check out Snow the Product I've been here oh Bree Max Steves. actually told me about Snow the Product yeah the, the, those, the, those three are just unreal they I, yeah. I, 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 I like true I listen to them like a lot they're really dope so I like the name Snow the Product too yeah Snow the Product it's very is, like she crazy. spitting of winter mm-hmm. yeah like, I mean she she she, she be spitting spitting like she does the fast rap and stuff I mean yeah. she worked with Tech 9 so like a Tech 9 any, any rapper that works with Tech 9 like yeah. is, a, is a dope rapper period so, yeah um, yeah so like yeah definitely check those artists out yeah. they're definitely um doing big things um we're cutting it close on time, so I want to okay. ask you, what's what's next? What you got planned next for the people that you want to tell them? Because obviously, you don't want to tell them everything, but <laughs> what you got next for... Uh... I'm I'm releasing my first EDM song. Oh, I saw you talking about that. Oh, that's a, that's a bold yeah. move, but it, I think it'll pay off. I th- definitely think it'll pay off. I don't yeah. know. I honestly, like last night, I just made the decision, and I posted about it on my story, and I asked people, because mm-hmm. um, I feel like now I finally have you know, a couple super fans. And, That's good. Yeah. And yeah. people awesome. people who are like constantly sharing my music, constantly like, you know They got you and we gotta say nothing. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so I like to just like ask people's opinions sometimes. Like so what I did was on my story last night I said like if I were to release like a back to back surprise single, what like what do you guys want to hear? Mm-hmm. And so I said, Do you want another rap song? Which I have music ready to release. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and um or do you guys want to hear an EDM song? Mm. And a lot of people, like, it was kind of 50-50 for a while, but then when I checked today, it was, like, 67, 33, per, like, yeah. 6, 67% <laughs> EDM, 33% rap. Mm-hmm. Um, they just want, I think they just want to see you so, do something a little different. You know, exactly. Switch it up on them. Exactly. Yeah. And I know it's, like, it's so different for me because I'm, I'm always doing, like, you know, hip-hop and, like, you know, Light Me Up. That was a pop song. It was kind of, like, alternative. And mm-hmm. I, I don't know if you know the band The Neighborhood, actually. Sounds familiar. They're, yeah, they're yeah. kind of, like... They're they're not like underground, but they have um the song Sweater Weather, for example, that was pretty big. Mm-hmm. And I tried to like go with that vibe. But but anyway, so I just asked people, you know, what do you want to see next? And mm-hmm. and I think it will be good for me too, because I think it will broaden my audience as well. Definitely. And yeah, I'll yeah. be able to reach like a lot of people and Bad different mind. yeah. And different. I have my right now. My fan base is actually the biggest in Indonesia and India. <laughs> okay. I know. Yeah, like, yeah. I know. Like, who would have thought? So I'm talking that, about though. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. <laughs> yes, and Australia too. So okay. those those three countries are where I'm getting the most streams and like the most like uh, my super fans like live there pretty. Oh, and England too. So those, yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. If and tur- you, Turkey. Too. Hey, all those countries we just shout out. What's good, y'all? If y'all tuning into this one, all right? Yeah. For real, for real. <laughs> so we're gonna say hi to y'all. Um, um, yep. That's dope though. So I, yeah. I, you're listening to the uh, your your crowd, um, and I think uh-huh. that's important that you know you you know hear what the people want. Right. It's gonna that, that always works. So yeah. I think you want on some good shit with what you got, Tay, for real. Like thank you. Your I sound, appreciate it. Sounds crazy. Like everything you you got going on is dope. You haven't. I'm dead serious. You haven't released a bad song. I don't think you will. Like every song <laughs> you release, you. I appreciate is that. Dope. Like I'm like yo. Like, yeah. What is this? Dude, like, can I ask you a question? Real. Yeah. What, ask, yeah. What, what What is your favorite song that I've released? What I do like you take think? a hint. Take a hint. Take a hint. That was that song that got was, swag. Yeah, <laughs> that, that song was, got swag <laughs> for real. Like, no, I, yeah, I really like that song. Yeah. Dope. That's good. That's good to hear. And I think that that's the first rap song that I released that's probably done the best so far. Yeah. And I actually performed it when I opened for um, Megan The Stallion too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just remember like, because I like had opened for her, and I just remember like. Before I went on, everyone was like scattered throughout the entire club, and then the second that I went on, like everyone was just drawn to me. Hell yeah, that's so, dope. That's awesome. That's it awesome. was like so cool. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I got you. I got you. Um, plug your stuff for the people. Where can they find you? Um, I'm on Instagram. Um, my uh, tag is at t e underscore a t a n a, and then on Spotify, it's 
the way like you spell my name it's just t-e space a-t-a-n-a tayatana mm-hmm. um youtube same thing t-e a-t-a-n-a tayatana um yeah everything's tayatana <laughs> run it up y'all run it up y'all y'all missing out on this dope music all right so check Thank it you. out hell yeah Tay made the beat. Tay, oh my! Oh yeah, my, let him know. Let him know. My my tag is like Tay made the beat. Tay oh, okay. made the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. That's a good tag. That's a good uh, tag. Definitely, definitely. Tay and Tom, thank you for being on Tempest Zone Podcast. Thank for you real. for having me, ladies and gentlemen. That's episode fifty three. Shout out to PRX Podcast, Garage for the high quality sounds once again. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace.